Hey YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Geneva. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we are going to do a little Allure Beauty Box unboxing for the month of September. So if you want to see what's in this box, then please continue to watch. If this is your first time stumbling on this video or my channel, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to get straight to the point I did a beauty box unboxing last month, which has like all the information as far as how much the box costs, all that kind of great stuff, shipping and everything. So I will be sure to link that video above so you can get all the details. And this video, I am simply just going to head straight into the box and see what goodies that we have in store. I will also go on the computer to see exactly how much it retails for so that way we can get an idea whether or not the box is worth it. This box was gifted to me, so it's not sponsored or anything. My initial reactions are going to be truthful and at the end of the video I will go over items that I received for the last two months so that way you can kind of get an idea of what I actually liked and what I didn't like and you'll get my honest opinion on it. Okay so now that the talking is out of the way be sure to subscribe to my channel like this video if you like this type of content and let's go ahead and dig in. Okay so here's the box let me get my scissors out. And the only thing I've done so far is just took the um, mailing label off of here. Okay, so I don't even like le reading the little pamphlets that come in it. We're going to set that to the side because I like to be surprised. Okay, let's see. So just going to dig in here and the first item. Okay, so this is Colfi is what it looks like. Um, It's a Kajal eyeliner crayon. Okay, so very excited for this. This is what the packaging looks like, and it's in the color Cheeky Chiku. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Can you guys see that? It's so bright outside, you might not be able to see it, but I'll have everything that I can link. I will have it linked in my like to know it. So I'm just gonna open it up, see what it looks like. Brown and pink packaging, and yeah, just looks like a nice little, eyeliner i will head online to see if i can find any additional information about this just kidding i remember last time that i didn't go through the pamphlet and the information that i needed was already available in the pamphlet that they provide in the actual book so let's head to the book to get the information on this product right here. And it just happens to be the first page on here. It says the retail price is $20. And one of the reasons why it was suggested for this box is because, oh, um, it's long wearing and it gel, it glides on very easy. So excited to try this product. I don't wear a lot of brown eyeliners. I usually wear black. So interested to see exactly how I feel about this. Next product. So looks like Mud Masky pH Balance Anti-Aging Hydrating Soothing Nourishing Purifying Fragrance Free Made in France Serum Infused moisturizer Ooh, i am this is what it actually looks like i've been on a hunt for a good moisturizer and one thing i'm loving about this allure beauty box the skincare products because i'm not a skincare skincare girly um i just happen genetics i usually have very clear skin i don't tend to have breakouts or anything like that so but i've been looking for like a good moisturizer and stuff so i'm very excited for this product let's see if we can find the information in the little booklet okay here we go it says this product retail price for 40 milliliters is going to be 55 dollars, and this is 40 milliliters so wow so this box is definitely worth it based on this product alone. So you're getting a full size product serum infused moisturizer supposed to be lightweight. Let's see. I really don't want to waste any of this product, but we're just going to take that top off and just want to see what it feels like. Okay, probably applied a little too much. Definitely light, silky feeling on the skin. Feels really, really nice and silky, so. All right, so let's head back in the box. Next product is, can you guys see that? Oh, it's so bright. Kristen S. 
It says it's a strand strengthening reconstructive moisture mask for all hair types, moisture reviving, strand strengthening, deeply nourish nourishing. All right. And it is sulfate free if you're interested. All right. So after shampooing, rinse, run a small amount through the middle to the ends, allow to sit in the hair for five minutes or longer if you have time and rinse thoroughly. Um, one thing about hair care products, this doesn't seem like a lot of product. In order to do anything, I usually, my hair eats up a lot of products. So not sure about that. Um, the retail price for this specific product, a full size bottle would be $15 for 6.7 full ounces. Next one, Eve Long. I've never heard of this. Rescue Mask, okay. All right, let's see if we can get some information on this. Do -do 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 -do. So the retail price for 50 milliliters, which is what this product here is, so full size product, it retails for $58. It's a face mask. Supposed to be a solution for stressed out skin. Um, Yeah, massage a layer all over the face. Apply for 20 minutes. And all right. So definitely interested in this product. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Let's see what else that we have in here. Okay, so we have a Rail Beauty Collagen Facial Sheet Mask. I love sheet masks. Um, I don't wear them often enough, but every time if we're like having a girl's night or something, we will definitely use this. So you just cleanse your face, apply and leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. Let's go in the little pamphlet, see if we can get some information on this. So the retail price is $15.99 for five sheets. And this is a one sheet mask that is included in your Allure beauty box and you can also receive 20% off site-wide with the code allure20 that's good through October 31st 2023 so you guys are getting a discount code and you don't even have the box um so yeah definitely excited about this and let's see what else is in here okay oh it's Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate so that's what it looks like this is a sample size product Get the information on this one. So the full retail price for this is going to be $88 and that's for 1.7 um, ounces. There's four milliliters that are included. So this is definitely a sample size product. And yeah, it's definitely, it's a moisturizing face oil. I'm so excited. I wonder if it's scented or if it's unscented. It smells like a hint of rose in here. I could be, oh, it says primrose and rosemary oils. So definitely excited to try this. I don't have anything like this. So, and that was, it came out of here. I thought there was one more product in here, but that was the last product that was included in this box. I'm going to grab last month's box and I will also insert some footage in here so you guys can see what I liked and what I didn't like. Okay, I'm back. So let's start off with the products that I absolutely loved from last month. And I think there might be one product from the month before. So this Tula skincare, um, it's a sunscreen SPF 30. And I really like this product. I It adds like a nice glow to your face very easy to add into your normal makeup uh, routine. So I definitely like this product a lot and I'm happy that I received it. My absolute favorite thing though, and this is also because I don't have anything to reference it to. So there may be other products that are better, but guys, I went through the whole entire sample of this. It is empty and this is the Clean It Zero uh, Cleansing Balm. I don't have any footage of me applying this product, but when I was going at night to take my makeup off, I would just apply a little bit and the makeup just like melted off. It was very, very, very easy when I was taking my makeup off. So I'm definitely going to purchase the full size product of this. I absolutely love this product. This product I'm on the fence about. This is Olay Hendrix, um, Olay Hendrickson, the Bright Banana Eye Cream. 
everybody raves about this product and you can see I've definitely used it. Um, and it was one of the products that I was most excited about. I have very dark circles under my eye and I wish I would have taken a photo as soon or like video um, as soon as I started using it. But I was like so excited. I'm like, oh, let me just put it on. And I haven't been consistent with it. So that could also be key. Will I repurchase it? I'm not sure. I don't know until I've ran out of this because this is a pretty fairly expensive product. Um, but I have been using it a lot, but probably not daily or as much as I should be. So I'll have to update you guys on this one again. Right now, I'm just on the fence about this product. The Belief Aqua Balm. Love this product. This came in a sample size and you'll see video of me applying it. I think I'm almost out or if not completely out. I love the silky texture of this product. I'm definitely thinking about purchasing the full size product of that. And then we have the Acoderma, the Barrier Booster. Also, I've completely used this sample, loved it as well. Um, I love the texture. It felt nice on the skin. I didn't have any breakouts or anything. So it worked really well with my skin type. And then the last thing that, oh no, the makeup brushes. Let's discuss this first and then I'll go grab the makeup brushes. Okay. So Laritzi Cosmetics had a lip gloss, which I am wearing on my lips right now. Feels good, silky, not sticky. My least favorite thing about this product is I don't like the applicator. I, and this is what it looks like. So just like a regular applicator, but compared to the ones that I like, like the Maybelline or the Fenty, um, I like when they're shorter and a little bit fatter. This one to me, it's too flimsy. Like I just don't feel like I have control over it, but I like the actual product and I love this color curve. Let me go grab the makeup brushes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, final products were these two makeup brushes from LaRousse. So it's an angle brush and also a dual, duo fiber brush. And do I like them? Yes. Are, do they apply easy? Yes. Um, $20 per brush, would I repurchase it? No. Am I happy to have these in my collection? Absolutely. I think receiving them in the beauty box, 10 out of 10. Um, because for what you would pay for these full retail, you definitely got the value by receiving two in the box. Um, yeah, I just didn't find anything special, nothing to write home about, but I like them. I just don't know. It didn't entice me to go out to their website or go out to the store and buy a whole collection or buy additional brushes. I'm making do with what I already have in my collection. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. Hopefully it was very quick and very informative. And next month when we get that box, I will go over everything from this month and see what we liked, what we didn't like. And I think that is it. If you did not see my last video, I did make a special announcement that my schedule is new videos every Sunday. We have locked down a schedule every Sunday and I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So we only have a few months. So I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, letting me know what kind of content you want to see from me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. It is truly appreciated. Have a great day. Bye.